Hello, and welcome to the Commonwealth Financial Network August Market Update. My name is Brad McMillan. I'm Commonwealth's Chief Investment Officer. It was, once again, a great month for the markets. U.S. markets were up between 2 and 3 percent. Developed markets, which is, which is to say Europe and Japan, were up also about 3 percent. And in fact, emerging markets were up almost 6 percent. That's a great month, any way you slice it. And the question is, why? And the answer is actually pretty simple. Because companies are making more money. Earnings are coming in extremely well. We thought earnings were going to do pretty well, but they're coming in much, much better than expected. A couple of examples. Almost three quarters of companies are selling more than analysts thought they would. Almost three quarters of companies so far are earning more per share than analysts thought they would. In fact, overall, we've seen earnings growth expectations go from about 6.5% to over 9%. And that's probably going to rise even more because we've only had a little over half of all companies report. So there's still more upside there. When you look at the fact that U.S. markets have moved back to new records, that markets around the world are doing really, really well, you can look at it and say, okay, this makes sense because the earnings are doing well. The question is, of course, is that likely to continue? And actually, if you look at the U.S. economy and the global economy, it may well do so. Because the U.S. economy continues to do very well. We saw job growth last month come in well above expectations, do very, very well. It was even better than it looked on the surface, as a matter of fact, because the job length of the work week went up a bit. And that's the equivalent to another couple of hundred thousand jobs. If you look at wage growth, that picked up a little bit. Still not where we want it to be. But again, people are making more money. And in fact, that's translating into confidence. Consumer confidence has actually started ticking up again. It was at high levels already, and now it's moving up even further. Business confidence, the service sector is actually at a level that's about the highest, close to the highest, in the past two years. So business confidence is strong. So when you look at this, jobs are great and businesses and consumers are confident. So clearly there's a good momentum going into the future. There are, however, clouds on the horizon. The actual walk, the talk is great, but the actual walk is not quite there. We've seen spending growth go very, very slowly. We've seen business investments start to pull back. In other words, even though things are good and likely to continue to be good, we can start to see that maybe they're not going to get that much better. Fortunately, that's okay because the second quarter, we saw the GDP growth report come out, and it came in at 2.6%, which is well above what we saw in the first quarter, and suggests that, in fact, the economy continues to be healthy. So what does this mean for next month? Right now, despite the clouds, the weather continues to be sunny. We can expect to see earnings continue to be good. We can expect to see the economic reports come in more good than bad. And even if we are probably about as good as it gets, that's not a bad place to be. We'll see what happens, and I'll talk to you next month. Thanks for watching.